cru- cruiserweight mm-hmm. fighting a monster heel wrestler. Wrestler. Like these are things that don't exist. Like Matanza, his look mm-hmm. does not look no. like someone who can wrestle. His you. look suggests Jason Voorhees. Very slow, but very powerful. He's not Kurt Angle. Yeah, not <laughs> Kurt Angle. He is not slow. He's very powerful, but he's not slow, and, and he can wrestle. And Cage looks like fucking Scott Steiner and Ryback. Yeah, and, and someone a, who baby. doesn't and doesn't know how to do fucking plunges. And yeah, except he can do all of those. Fucking dives off the top rope. And he does all of those, and it's fucking scary. When you have muscles like that, you're not allowed to contort yourself like no, that. No, but he can. How is but the this greatest guy, of ease? How by is the this way? guy not in the WWE? Honestly. Who's not watching this? I'll be honest with you. I think we've discussed this before. Mm. I don't know if he can pass a piss test. <laughs> <laughs> you're probably right. In all honesty, you're probably right. Like, yeah. Like that. I don't want to say it, but yeah, you're probably right. I don't think there's piss testing in Lucha Underground. No. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah. No <laughs> one looks like that clean. Yeah, you just you're right. can't. You're right. You, I wish you could. Yeah, because but you that can't. that gives everyone hope that <laughs> okay, maybe I can do it. But yeah. No. Yeah, you're probably right. Short of the Superman serum that fucking super yeah. soldier serum that Captain America downs, there's you no look like that. Yeah, you no, shouldn't agreed, look agreed, like that. You shouldn't. So but, yeah. I don't think he could pass the piss test. No, why probably he's not. not. Also, he probably mm. he's, no interest. Yeah, no interest. He's no, fine. Probably. Trust me, Cage is doing fine on the indies, mm-hmm. and if he really needs money, again, Japan will pay for giant guy a billion dollars for you for giant guy Yeah. So. But this match was great. Giant it, flying gaijin. That's what I'm saying. Like, mm-hmm. they're a fucking sight. Yeah. <coughs> you know? Mm-hmm. He doesn't pass the weight limits to be in the Super Juniors, but, no, you know, but he can... He can fly like them. He can fly like them, which is, again, terrifying. Scary. But I yeah. don't like that. That makes me sad. No, no, this match is, this was, match was great because was. you had a, a high-flying muscle man mm-hmm. versus a wrestling muscle man. Yeah. So you had your Haas match, mm-hmm. but it was peppered in with high spots and... Uh, Fucking and wrestling and suplexes chain wrestling. and chain wrestling. Like and these are again, it was fucking weird to watch. It was, it was it jarring was... in the best possible way. Yeah, and of course Matanza gets the win mm-hmm. off like a fucking out of nowhere wrath of the gods. Yeah. And how you can get a guy that big mm. to just oh. I don't know. Because you have to toss the guy yeah, but all the way around him doing it. and power slam. Because that's all the wrath of the yeah, gods that's all it's it is. Just yeah, a just fucking, swings him around it's and a then swinging fucking, it's a yeah. swinging power slam yeah. that just drives your opponent to the mat. Still fucking crazy. And he just caught him and boom, yep. Wrath of the Gods. One, mm-hmm. two, three. Mm-hmm. And now Matanz has conquered yep. uh, the two Mill. biggest men. He's conquered Cage. Yep. He took down Phoenix. Mm-hmm. You can't stop him. Nope. <sighs> so, you know. You can't stop I him. Don't know what, I don't know where we're going to so go here. So good luck to anyone who's going to try. <laughs> yeah. Did this match was... Up? This match it was, was really good. You need to see it. You really do. Because it is a sight. It's oh, it really is. Oh, it's monsters nuts. do things that monsters shouldn't do. Mm. Uh, Ring of Honor. Yeah. We had a show. They exist. We saw them again. Woo! This was from Toronto, unfortunately. Where we should have been. Where we should have been. Mm-hmm. Work obligations, unfortunately. Yeah. Now we'll get we to see it on to TV. Work. Yeah. But match number one, mm-hmm. ACH versus Leo Rush. Yeah, all right. Um... Now so I'm instantly, pissed. I'm mad that I wasn't yep. at this show. Pretty In much. Match number one mm-hmm. of the footage that these guys cut from the show <laughs> yeah. instantly makes me say, fuck, fuck I, I wish been I'd there. seen that, yeah. Because, yeah, that was a sight. So it is as good as you think it would be. Mm-hmm. Not given too much time, which is good because Damn. you want to save a match like yeah, this for a pay per view pay-per-view. down the road. Yeah. And we were all wondering what Silas Young was going to do next. Well, answer. Mm-hmm. He's going to take down the young Flippy Dippy guys. I like it. Because that's not wrestling. Again, he's basically doing what, what Al Vader doing, was doing. Well, <laughs> Vader or Al Snow, yes. This is not wrestling. This ain't wrestling. These yeah. kids are just flying around. Oh, yeah, Vader. Oh. I'm going to crush these kids. Yeah. So he beat them both up at mm-hmm. the end of the match. I like it. After ACH beat Leo Rush, which is good. I mean, if Silas Young is not fighting uh, Dalton Castle, I'll accept this. Oh, a Silas Young Leo Rush match where Leo Rush just runs circles Flips around, around him. Fuck it, yeah. And just Silas, and Silas Young just, just starts punching gets him. increasingly, increasingly yeah. angry because he can't catch him. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and then eventually just slows him down with one lo- big ass fucking clothesline. How amazing! Just one be? giant lariat. Yeah, yeah. and bang. Fucking, and Leo Rush. Fucking and Leo Rush flips flipping. like four times. Oh, that'd be amazing. And then land square on his face. Yeah, that's uh, gonna happen. That'll be excellent. By the way, that'll be excellent. Um, addiction. Yeah, cutting a promo yep. because they did in fact win the world tag team championships of the world mm-hmm. shortly after best in the world. They did. Um. Uh, basically cutting on the crowd, your yeah. t- typical addiction yeah, kind of do, stuff. Yeah. Basically saying they're the best in any generation because again, mm-hmm. it's all about generations. I'll about, be yeah. the new generation. Will be generation, the generation is kind of a buzzword because, well, like we said, WWE kind of sets the tone for everything. Mm-hmm. So you know, so the guns come out, mm-hmm. call them old. Oh, yeah. you guys are old. You guys suck. I'm like, well, uh, uh, guys, you're not exactly spring chicken yeah, yourself. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, should you really be talking? You're not. Chris no, Daniels, no, but, but you're not exactly yeah Leo Rush no, either. Yeah, you're, you're not in your twenties. Um, yeah, you're both in your thirties, sons. So you know, let's not throw the old yeah. word around, well, guys. You guys are old. Well, you're not much better. <laughs> you guys are older. Yeah, <laughs> that's all you got. Uh-huh. And then Rapungi comes out, and again, Rocky mm-hmm. can't say much. Yep, because Rocky is mm-hmm. like forty-two, so he, he also really can't is. say. So, anything. Yeah, he's just sort of like Brenna a, might be able to say. I think Brenna might be the youngest out of all these guys. He might be, but not by much. <laughs> like he might be like twenty-eight. <laughs> like, so you know what I mean. So, so it's kind of funny. You got all these guys talking about age, but mm. yeah, you know, none of you are all like. Yeah, none of you are all that young. Either way, the addiction make a match. Mm-hmm. All right, triple threat. If either of you guys pin us, yeah, you get a World title, title shot. shot. So cool. it's basically every number one contender thing ever. Yep. So yeah. It's a triple threat match. It's cool. as good as you think it'd be. Mm-hmm. The guns get the win. They do. Uh, addiction throw a fit. Mm-hmm. Great. Mm-hmm. Great stuff. Excellent. Uh, before the m- main event of the evening, mm-hmm. they announced that it's going to be Carino and BJ Whitmer fighting at some point. Yeah. Um, my guess is, what's it called? Um, <coughs> the, the next show. What's best it called? in the world? Is Wasn't it just, well, didn't we just pass best in the world? We might have. Um... Fuck. Because unlike TNA, they did say it a few times, so I'm an idiot for not remembering. But um, Is this why they waited this long, though? It might to, be. Because to show these episodes? It might be that. Because it it's be, June yeah. It's June 24th. Mm-hmm. That might be it, because they might only have, like... I guarantee they you, they only, only have, cut like, three weeks three worth. Three weeks worth to cut for it. Um, so you wait a month. Mm-hmm. You show your best ofs. They had the they had the Honor Rising shows in the can already. Yep. So you just show that stuff, and then you show your best of mm-hmm. Jay Lethal, which we didn't have to talk about on the show, but it was good because you get hours worth of awesome Jay Lethal matches. I'm okay with that. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, of course, they don't make it easy on Wikipedia here. Um, best in the world. What June was the 24th. last one? Uh, I just need to I mean, awkwardly go Honor back Rising, but through my was, notes. Before that was... Awkwardly go through... Global, God damn Global it! Wars? Global oh, Wars was the last one. Jesus, the first one that they don't hold in Toronto, and we can't remember. Yeah, it. It, the last one was Global Wars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so that so they so best the, in the world, so best in the world, which is their big show. Mm-hmm. So yeah. one of their bigger shows. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be good to see um, that come to an end. Oh yeah, really. yeah. The whole Corrido mm-hmm. and yeah. I mean, no more Mister Wrestling Three. I guess. <laughs> I guess, but that's a shame. But either way, mm-hmm. put that to the bed. Finally, I can't believe that Carino's wrestling again. That's the thing. Maybe that was all storyline. Might have been, man. You're you know right. what I mean? You know what? You're so, right. You're probably right. Which sucks. <laughs> but. Cause, but I will give them this, man. If that was a storyline, they cave paved the fuck out of everybody. Yeah, Because nobody called it as a storyline. Not a single person. It's true. So, so if that's the case, fucking brava. Main event, mm-hmm. the elite. Yep. Facing... Uh, Opponents that they're used to, mm-hmm. Tanahashi, Elgin, and Yoshitatsu. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, not for the trios title, no. which was good. Mm-hmm. The elite get the win. Yep. Solid match. Mm-hmm. It's the elite, it's always good. And as we saw, we'll talk about the uh, Super Junior final. Mm-hmm. But Tanahashi's out. Yep. And Elgin's in. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna get Michael Elgin yep. versus Kenny Omega mm-hmm. for the IWGP Intercontinental <sighs> Heavyweight Championship. I. At a New Japan show. That's fucking insane. Two white dudes yep. fighting for the IC belt in Japan. Mm-hmm. The proper IC belt. Yeah, the the IWGP one. IC yeah. belt. Um, that's fucking insane. That is ridiculous. 
And it's gonna be How awesome. good does Michael Elkin feel right now? Oh, he's just like, remember all that like shit even I if went he loses. years ago? Ah, oh, even he if he loses. He will. Um, but even if he loses. It doesn't matter. He still he's made his fighting name. fighting for name. the IC yeah. title. Like, his his contract in, in Japan will arrive hmm, tomorrow. Oh, no, like, he, he, he signed. Oh, is he signed? Two-year like, deal. I didn't know if he actually yeah, yeah, was officially deal. signed. Yeah, um, Actually, I probably did know that. I just forgot. But, yeah, 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 two-year deal. Like, He's happy. Like, he's gotten everything he wanted now, so I'm sure he's happy. I'm telling you right now, if it was up to Elgin, he'd wrestle in Japan. I'm sure he full-time. will soon. Like Kenny Omega. Yeah, I'm sure. Kenny Omega, is, I think his wife's Japanese, he yeah. speaks fluent. Yeah. Kenny Omega is basically a Japanese guy now. Yeah, he's a he, Japanese guy who does the occasional Ring of Honor show. He doesn't live in Canada, he doesn't yeah. live in Canada anymore, no. he lives in Japan. Yeah, he's a Japanese guy who does the occasional Ring of Honor show. Yeah. That's what he is. And I'm pretty sure Elgin will follow suit very shortly. So, if you're going to give us a match like this for the next three weeks, number yeah, one, right. I'm really pissed I wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but number two, glad to I mean, see it shit, on TV. this is the first Ring of Honor show we've missed in years. I think ever. For me. I think I've ever... I've been to every single Ring of Honor show in Toronto. I think I missed one. This was the first one I've missed. I think I missed one before this, and that was it. So, yeah, I've been to So, like I said, one. the fact that you made me instantly regret it after first mm-hmm. match out, mm-hmm. good for you. Yeah. It speaks wonders so, for the card. Yeah. Uh, Super Juniors, mm-hmm. New Japan. Mm-hmm. Like you said, you saw the Will Ospreay match. I did. Right? Jesus Ricochet. Christ. Come on. <sighs> Come on with you, the come on. I gotta tell you, uh, yeah, they can fly. Um, and I'm pretty confident, and we'll, I'm sure we'll be talking more about him, but Will Ospreay is probably, like, the greatest thing to happen to pro wrestling in a long time. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Um, but yeah, like, that match was unfucking believable If you haven't seen it, I scolded myself Fuck, for New it. Japan, now, you guys on YouTube. Need to see it. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Put, like, put nobody was fucking around. They are just like, you need to see this. Because, because of the quote-unquote controversy of it all. It was controversial, and it created infinite amount of buzz. Because if if you weren't, like, an old-timer who's like, fuck those guys, it was, my God, this might be one of the greatest matches I've ever seen. Like, the revelation. Was, yeah, mm. like, it was, it, was, it was definitely next-level shit. Like, it was ridiculous. I did hear an old timer today on uh, Austin's podcast uh, talking about it, just being what, like, "Was he just slow down?" <laughs> well, yeah, of course that was like ninety percent of what he said. But the first thing he said was just like, "It just it looked like it was choreographed." Like, yeah, wrestling looks like it's choreographed now. Wrestling's always been choreographed. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Go back to your about, home. <laughs> about a hundred years ago, it wasn't. But they realized those were very boring, so it became choreographed. Yes. Yes. Back when the world was black and white. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, hey, Grandpa's? Yeah. Yes. Just, just slow your roll. You need to slow down, I mean, right? it's funny because, like, Austin was just like, no, it was one of the greatest matches I've ever seen boys need to slow down, but it was one of the greatest matches I've ever seen. So I was like, well, at least he said it was okay. Um, um, yeah, so we'll burn through these, talk mm-hmm, about the final. Mm-hmm. Day 10, yep. uh, my money was on Osprey and Fish. Yep. Again, mm. it's partial. To, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a fan of both. In, in all so. fairness, like, you know, I, I, I'm a fan of Fish as well, but Osprey is now my, my golden boy, so I'll watch him do anything at this point. Uh, day 11, mm-hmm. for my money, the best match was probably the last one with Kushida and Seidel. I think that goes without saying. I mean, because those guys... That, yeah, it's... Because she's yeah. been in Ring of Honor for a bit now, too, so yeah. these guys know each other. Mm-hmm. So that was magic. Agreed. Uh, day 12, mm-hmm. I'd actually say probably Volador Jr. and Ricochet. I would agree. Uh, Volador Jr., well. this whole tournament. Mm-hmm. He's been... Again, there's yeah. been no fillers no, here. No, not at all. They've all been really good. No um, one wrestler no. was like, I don't care about yeah, his no, matches. They were, they were, like even Ghetto, I'm like, yeah. cool, he's yeah. cool. Ghetto, uh, like that shit when he was fighting. Uh, I think it was Rocky, mm-hmm. and like they're they're <laughs> yeah. boys, right? They're yeah. both chaos. They're yeah. boys. They're like yeah. best buddies. Mm-hmm. So like after the match, they all like shook hands and mm-hmm. hugged, and like Beretta played it off like, no, you poked me in the eye. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like even that shit's funny. I mean. Like, I gotta talk about it, and, like, we'll obviously get to it in the final, but seriously, Taguchi. Like, what the fuck, man? You know what it is? We'll, mm. we'll get to it in the final, but you mm-hmm. know what it is? It's mm. just them doing what they've been doing. Yeah. With Eugene Gata mm-hmm. and, um, who was it? Was it? Not Hanma. Um, no. who fought? 
I think it was not Kojima. Mm. But one of the older guys okay. fought for another title too. Alright. Tenzin. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah, fought yeah, for yeah, okay. I think he also fought uh Shibata. He did, yeah. The month previous. Mm -hmm. That's what New Japan's been doing. I don't know if that's because 